Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am excited, truly, because we are going over the Pot Roast Lover's Ultimate Pot Roast Recipe. And on this channel, the food is always the star, y'all. We got butter, half a stick, and that cast iron skillet, y'all. And yes, I did just drop that pot roast whole in there because we're going to cook it like a steak. We're going to sear it, y'all. We're going to sear in all the flavor and all the goodness that this cast iron got to offer this pot roast, y'all. Now, we want to make sure we have our instrumentations ready, y'all. We need a spoon or a brush, y'all, to baste in that good butter that's sizzling in that cast iron skillet, y'all. That basting process adds flavor. So no matter what type of pot, pan, whatever you have, whatever your instrumentation of choice is, if you can baste it, baste it. I highly suggest you do it, y'all. But yes, on a pot roast, have you ever tried to baste a pot roast before or sear in that flavor like a steak? I'm telling you, it turns out phenomenal. So this is more of a cooking method than just a recipe, y'all. Because this will lock in those flavors, y'all. And the thing about this pot roast, I had this pot roast rubbed down in beef base before I dropped it into this butter. And I say, ooh that look good there. <laughs> oh yeah, that look good there. Now, knife one-on-one, -on -one, y'all. Knife holding. Now, when you make sure you hold a knife, make sure you hold it proper, y'all. Make sure you hold it proper. We're going to slice through these potatoes, y'all. Make sure we get these potatoes good and right. We want them to be quartered, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and quarter up these potatoes like you would do on a standard pot roast, y'all. Now, these carrots, people cut them different ways. I cut mine straight down the middle because I understand that carrots do shrink, y'all. And then I cut them in half. Now... I put it all together, and then I seasoned up this pot roast right here, y'all. Seasoned up the pot roast in the same pot that I'm going to be cooking it in. Yes, I did. Veggies right there on the bottom. Why did I do it this way? Because I didn't feel like grabbing another dish, and these vegetables are going to get cooked. So now I pulled that out, put that back on the cutting board, and now I am taking that beef base an Italian base. I took the touch of beef base, just a touch, an Italian base. Rub that down in there, y'all. Then I put the pot roast back in. Yes, I did, y'all. And then from this point, I had a little bit of a gravy, a little bit of roux that I used from that same cast iron and that butter that was in there. Whisk that up with a little bit of cornstarch, just a touch, and pour that in there. And I added three cups of water according to the size of the dish that I'm using here and according to the pot roast because I'm also going to use the broth that's left over from this pot roast and I'm going to make me a nice soup from it. I'm going to eat all that pot roast, but I'm going to make me a nice soup from the broth. And when I finish with it, you're going to see why, y'all. Take a look at how it looks. Now, just sear it up. We just seared it up. It's not even cooked. But look at that sear. Can you imagine cooking this pot roast and you have it on a nice sear? That's all it's about, y'all, is learning the different methods and different ways that you can cook it, y'all. Now, we added some of those green onions from the garden, too, y'all. We working on the garden. We're not quite there yet, but we do have some green onions that are from the garden. I wish the potatoes and everything else were from the garden because I do plan on planting potatoes, carrots as well too, and red onions. Why not? I use them in so many dishes and they are healthy for you. Those vegetables are the bomb, y'all. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it looks. We have cooked it up. Look at that pot roast, y'all. That is a wonderful, wonderful pot roast. Y'all, I cooked this pot roast, convection roast, uncovered at 350 convection for about 30 minutes. Then I pulled it out and I let it cool for a touch. Then I wrapped it in foil and I cooked it at 350 
for another 30 minutes. Then I cut the oven down to 225 and I let it work the rest of the time. I had other things that I need to do. So I got it done, y'all. Now, if you like this method and this style, let me know. Or if you feel like it's something you want to see, let us know so we can add it to the playlist. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next side. Thank y'all for tuning in.